Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, welcome back guys. Thank you very much for clicking this video. Thank you very much for taking time out to watch me do what it do. Do what it do. So today, obviously the reason why I clicked this video is because we're gonna do a review. If you'd like to see my thoughts and the whole process, continue watching. So as I said, um, every Saturday and Sunday, this guy, oh, Jesus is Lord. I'm fuming, I'm absolutely fuming. So we are here because we're gonna be reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury concealers. I'm so excited. I got mine delivered some time ago, hence why the box is a bit stained. Obviously when I was moving things around, it got chucked here, it got chucked there, and so on and so forth. Also, I did a review on the Hourglass Foundation, the this is the soft glow foundation i'll pop a card up here so you guys can actually see how that went to get my thoughts just go watch the video so it comes packaged like this which is typical charlotte tilbury and obviously inside we have our products yes you're seeing right i ordered two one two and it came with what do you call this we've got a sample of the charlotte tilbury magic cream we also have the pillow talk push up lashes sample as well it's yeah it's like really really tiny and small it's literally just a sample have 16 deep and 12 tan i decided to buy it too and i think i bought it when it did actually launch but my videos are really like delayed and stuff before it came out i had received an email from charlotte tilbury saying that i'm part of some loyalty scheme because i put my email in or whatever and i get 10 pound off my next purchase so i was like okay I'm gonna wait till these come out. The concealers then launched when I put it in my basket, I copied the code in, I got me £10 off. So these actually retail for £25 each and with the code that I received I was able to get £10 off so I got two for £40. You okay? So what her hair pin was, our coat rack fell. It literally came out of the wall. So it's the coat rack, it's the guy with the engine with a stupid motorbike. That happened and then I decided to have a bit of chicken. So these are the concealers out of the packaging. Absolutely cute and gorgeous. It kind of looks like the Beautiful Skin foundation, the way you like the colour and the aesthetic and everything. This is actually 16 deep and this is 12 tan. Don't they look quite bright? seriously cannot deal anyway those are the two concealers my base today i used i did my normal like skincare routine and i used um a sample funny enough of the charlotte tilbury um magic cream and i went over my laneige to kind of like moisturize the lips so that it's ready for when i'm ready to put my lips oh, yeah, and this hair by the way it's just a placeholder because the hair that i actually wanted to use is not dry yet so she had to step in I'm gonna try and use as much Charlotte Tilbury products that I have. I do have Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm just gonna use a bit of this because it has some sun protection. It has an SPF of 50. There's not a review on all these products, but I just wanted to incorporate as much Charlotte Tilbury products as I can. I'm probably just gonna speed this up, but I'm gonna be using the Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade eight. I'll be also be using the foundation in 16 Cool. Is blended into the skin i forgot how orange this looks on camera it kind of comes across more warm than it isn't supposed to be cool so in regards to their previous concealer which was the magic away concealer this atrociousness wait <laughs> can't even get off i don't think for the last time that i used it i've been able to get the cover off it's a good concealer it's thick but for me it creased a bit too much i think because it was so thick so i'm happy that we do have a new concealer from charlotte tilbury more so the reason why i actually bought the charlotte tilbury concealer instead of the Too faced concealer charlotte tilbury has one and i feel like she owed us a new concealer because this this was not the one obviously me buying two is my like standard situation unless i want to buy a 
color that is close to my foundation shade. This you can see is the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of dark circles. The skin looks smoother and more radiant. 28 days or so. Boosts hydration. Um, has hyaluronic acid and golden vitamin C plus collagen and niacinamide. It's supposed to be medium to buildable coverage. 16 hour wear. It's been clinically proven results. Conceals, corrects, brightens and lifts this look of skin okay so we're gonna go into shade 16 let me just swatch what shade 16 looks at like the back of my hand oh it's very golden so this is shade 16 i can see it's got like a, a very warm undertone and it's supposed to be 16 deep i'm very scared it's gonna give me orange vibes i'm having to dip the doe foot back into the components so i can get more products so it's like i mean you can it's good because you can control the amount of product that you actually take out and you're not putting heaps on but it's like it's just making things a bit longer isn't it so this is it on my skin as you can see it kind of has like a an orange deep tone this concealer comes in 30 shades and there's a lot of halves here and there and i think the halves kind of like stop before you get to the deeper tone i really feel like there's still room for improvement in regards to the undertones of her shades we're just gonna blend this out and see i mean that blended out really nicely you can barely see it it feels very light on the skin why do i look rich okay i think that looks a bit better even though it's a bit bright i just like open up the curtains just slightly my lighting at the back is kind of got like a red vibe so it's kind of thrown my skin tone off it looks very radiant but yeah it blended out really easy on the chin there so let's just go into the rest of the face okay okay the finish wow absolutely stunning it is absolutely it's so nice it just blends out so easily it kind of reminds me not in regards to the consistency and the radiance or the radiancy it kind of reminds me of um Huda beauty the way it's just so easy to to like blend out it doesn't feel or look cakey based on the color it's just giving another dimension to the face if that makes sense but it's really blended out really nicely I could have maybe gone without this shade because if you are using that Charlotte Tilbury foundation it's semi just a hair lighter um so we're now going to go into the lighter concealer I'm going to go into 12 tan now she looks so light I'm so scared Ooh. okay let's just swatch this so I can just show you guys the other one's kind of like dry down so I've wiped off if only I could open the magic away concealer to show you the swatch I don't know if you were to see inside they do not have the same undertone this one is much warmer than the one at the back of my hand that looks very pale lighter than butterscotch so if you are sister shade to me tortan is a bit much I mean I like a bright under eye there's one thing to use a bright under eye concealer and it gives you that brightness so that brightness has to kind of match the undertone of your base if that makes sense so sometimes a light concealer can throw off grey can throw off a bit too neutral we're just, we're just gonna highlight our normal areas it's very very creamy so the first one i didn't use a sponge because i just thought there was just no need and i'm a kind of brush person for this stage i now use my sponge to blend this out and considering a sponge is supposed to sheer out the product i think it's the brightness that is allowing it to still be there so a little goes a long way especially if you're doing this two-step concealer situation like myself so I'm going on to the under eye and as you can see you can see the coverage on this more compared to the darker concealer and I would say it's about a medium coverage I'm gonna see the buildability so I'm gonna go back into 13 I'm just gonna place a bit under here say a bit but we're putting a considerable amount okay whilst that's sitting on the face we're gonna blend out the other side and it seems as though there are some specks of glitter if i'm not mistaken because at the back of my hand i don't know if you guys can see it i did try and wipe off um that concealer and i'm getting some shimmery kind of like reflex so that's i think that's part of the radiancy so let's blend this side out i'm going to do the same thing that i did on this side i'm going to do it on this side so we're going to build we're just going to build that up 
leaving it on for just some time gives you even more coverage i don't think it's like accentuating my pores but yeah that looks good the coverage looks good but as you can see it has a it has a brightness to it i don't know how i feel about the brightness of this particular concealer it's giving me in regards to the shade it's giving me like tart is it tan deep or is it tan sand or something vibes i wish i could have gone a shade maybe a bit darker so maybe like 13 if it was well the next shade down in the right undertone i would have preferred so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set my under eye i'm gonna do basically my face how i would normally do my face in regards to setting powders and stuff like that for the setting powders i didn't get the one that comes that came with the launch which was two shades one for like light and fair and tan and deep and that deep looked ridiculous that was not deep yes yeah, so i have been going through a phase where i've been using the laura mercier translucent deep setting powder for my under eye so i'm using this today as in like as much as i like a light under eye i like to kind of keep it kind of not too bright sometimes you still get the same finish i mean i still love the translucent honey or the translucent or even the one i've been liking the most recently as well which is the huda beauty kanafa translucent medium was like the the original bay the first powder that i used that matched my skin tone that wasn't too bright can you see how sweet that looks it looks really good um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go do this my face and i'm gonna come back to you guys with the finished look yeah and we can start this wear test if i didn't mention before as this video has been going the way it's been going we're actually gonna do a wear test as well so the time is actually currently 15 43 i would have put this on about 20 minutes ago so let's just call it 3 30 okay so 3 30 is the timestamp for application it's now been set so i'm now gonna go ahead and finish off my face and get back to you guys the freaking day like i am back just trying to zhuzh this head a little bit this is the final look what do you guys think as in hubby came in and it's like your makeup is banging <laughs> he said makeup looks really good and my lashes are still drying i'm very impressed with it so far it's not my mind i know there's glitter in this thing there is glitter in this thing so I'm just looking at my mirror. I'm not even in shot, but I can see it has settled slightly into my fine lines, which again is, is, is inevitable. As in, I have lines under my eyes. It is what it is. The time is now. God, after how long? It's Ten past four. I'm gonna go and do my errands, like run around, do what I need to do, and then I'm gonna come back. And when I come back, we can see how this face is looking. I'll probably try and do like a video of me outside. So I'm gonna go. And I shall see you guys on the other side of this clip. It's gonna take literally two seconds. I'm in the car. It's currently 6.43. So that would have made it. So, so far, three hours. I've got creasing. Like, I have creasing. But obviously, it's to do with my fine lines. Sorry, that was a bit too close. <laughs> It's to do with my fine lines, so that's totally understandable. But um, as far as the rest of the face, the way the concealer is sitting is really nice. In regards to like the setting powder, how everything applied, very nice. But the face is looking, it's not looking too bad. I'm just trying to give you guys angles. I like the concealer. Based on what I can see, even me using the medium deep, I'm still getting bright under my eyes. It's just a quick check-in. So I'm gonna go home, gonna order me some food, and then do the final check-in with you guys. But yes, three hours plus, apart from creasing, not too bad. I'm so tired. So my arms are itchy. Hey guys, I am back. It's looking okay. There's nothing really crazy going on. Let me just zoom you guys in so you guys can see okay you guys can see right that's close enough the face is producing a lot of you know standard oils particularly around the nose around the t-zone area and i'm getting a nice halo glow on the forehead right there you can literally see the light bouncing off my forehead the concealer is very nice i did do a check-in at around the three hour mark so it's 9 52 so that means i've done about five hours five hours 15 minutes if you want to be a bit technical 
go and this is what my face looks like my under eyes based on setting it's giving dryness <laughs> and i don't like the fact that this part is dry and this part is very luminous i powdered everywhere else so I don't know <laughs> I really don't know but I like the way it looks other than the dryness under the eyes I did mention earlier on that I have creasing as you guys will be able to see yeah so it's like it's really like settled yeah it's really creasy I did try to do as much as I can to combat that I have fine lines under my eyes so it's obviously inevitable but other than that the concealer did perform pretty well i like the way my face is looking i'm sure if i was to powder it would look okay and should we do that now so i'm going to use the charlotte tilbury um airbrush flawless finishing powder i'm going to use use this sephora 55 brush just tap it in this is what your face will kind of look like it's not bad isn't it oh and i realized as well that I hadn't even sprayed my face when I came back to you guys after doing my face. So that was my face unset. Did it look dry? Did it look off? I'm tired. So my energy is super low, as you guys can tell. The concealers, right? I literally just checked online. This shade here, 12 tan, I think is like a top seller because it's sold out. This 12 tan is supposed to have a neutral undertone and the shade 16 deep is supposed to have golden undertones. The shades don't really correspond well, I don't think, because the jump between 12 and 13 is like day and night, literally. 12 being the day and night being the 13. Where you've got the got the X, that one is 12 new 12 tan and this one here is 13. obviously i don't think the concealer is that red first of all your shade range on your website is not really representing the color i don't know how hard it is to do color swatches or computerized color swatches or whatever on your site but you should try at least try i got a feeling my teeth oh god i was having a moment of eating comfort food don't judge me because i've just been going through it and i know tomorrow it's gonna be a busy day and i don't know if i'm gonna do a get ready with me i don't know if you guys are feeling my little sunday morning get ready with me because i like filming my looks so please let me know in the comment section below if you want me to stop <laughs> i'm gonna go because i'm tired and i want to say thank you very much for staying to the end of this video as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i shall see y'all in my next video <laughs> What is going on? Um, you know when you're tired, yeah, you do that. Cut the camera. Oh.